Hey there, it's Nick, and today we're gonna be waterproofing this drone. Anyone who flies this stuff knows that these are water magnets. Oh shit, I think there's water. No, there's water. Hope it doesn't happen to you because then you're gonna have a bad time and you're gonna have to buy another drone unless you do the process we're gonna do. I'm gonna do it for the first time with this. I'm gonna use this right here is like a conformal coating I bought from Amazon. So let's get to it. So let's see what we need. Electronic grade silicone, some snippers or cutters, steal a brush from your girlfriend or your mom, go ahead and steal the other one just in case. Also need a screwdriver and obviously a drone. We can now start working on the whole process. So what the conformal coating does is that it creates a thin little layer on top of every connection you have right there and in the board and it protects the water getting in and created some short and you'll be saving your components that way. So the first thing we have to do obviously is just taking the canopy apart. This is the VTX antenna. You also want to disconnect it right here. Just pop it up and now this can move a little bit more free. We could also disconnect this one right here which is the camera cable. I don't want to do it because you'll see further down the video that these kind of connectors, you want to leave them there and you don't want to get conformal coating on them. So I'm going to have to just get the board out of the frame. So that means I'm going to have to get also the motors uh, off, which means I have to get my propellers off. So for the propellers, uh, most of the time I use this type of stuff. And what I do is I just create like a lever and I put it right there on that part and I push up. Yep, it does create like this lever type of tool. I've never got like the, the prop removal tool because I'm lazy and I already bent a shaft. So you should get one. This has worked wonders for me. So I'm going to leave it like that. And now we just pinch and pull. And let's put these propellers right there on the side. Now let's get the motors off. So I'm going to finish unscrewing this real quick. So now what we're going to do is we'll probably just push it down so it gets out of the frame. So I think I can actually force the frame a little bit here uh, if I push it just a little bit hard and then the, the motor will pop. Yep, I'm going to do the same with this one. There it goes. And the last one. <laughs> it's pretty dirty, I'm not going to lie. Other than that, we're good to go. So for this part, I'm going to be using my helper hand. What we're going to do now is that I'm going to carefully remove all the dust from the board just so it gets adhered to the surface so now we got into the foam part which is knowing how thick this is and opening this for the first time <laughs> i don't know how it's gonna be we have to puncture it i was actually expecting some harsher smell but this doesn't smell bad it doesn't even have smell now we're gonna put this one on. So I probably have to cut the tip off. So let's go ahead and do it. Boop. Ooh, sticky. Now my fingers are waterproofed. So the idea here is covering all the parts on the silicone except for the ports. All the things that are ports, for example, the VTX port here, which is the camera port. And well, we're not gonna have trouble with the uh, battery port, but this one we are. You don't want to put conformal coating on those because then you're not going to have contact and they're not going to work. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the VTX antenna on so I don't screw anything up. So I'm going to grab this stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm going to start applying a little bit of silicone. Oh, I see it coming out <laughs> and I'm going to start applying that everywhere. And I really don't know if I'm putting too much or if I'm putting too little. We're gonna find out. So now we're gonna use the thick brush and we're gonna start like painting everything here real quick before it dries out. So remember what I said, not on the port. We can probably put a little bit on top because it's already making contact, but you don't wanna get the port dirty. Let's move this out of the way so I can probably brush it here as well. Now you can see the shiny layer on all of this. So what I saw is that this conformal coating, it shines with UV light. So I'm going to turn off the lights. So now there's not any other light more than the UV one. 
Oh shit, my teeth are dirty. But if I show you the drone, this is how it will look. So let's go back to the workbench. So let's see. Oh, you see? Oh my God. You see how it looks? It almost looks like, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it looks like, but let's start painting. Oh man, that, that's so cool. Let's see. Let's get these everywhere. I think we're probably finished. First, I'm going to turn this upside down to see how the other side looks. Yeah, it's looking good. To a certain point, I've seen the waterproofing being done only on the board, but to fully waterproof it, you also want to waterproof the motors here because you have the connection on the motors and if it gets in the water, then the motor won't know what to do, right? So we probably have to take the shrinking tube out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this heat shrink tube out of the way. Yep, that's it. And I'm going to do this for each one of them. And you see, this is the PC board I'm talking about. Just a little tiny bit and I'm going to brush it. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to do the same for the other ones. Okay, so now we're only missing the camera and the camera might be a little bit tricky because I have this, um, whatever it is on top of this, it's almost like a tape. What I'm planning to do is taking it off, applying the conformal coating and then putting it back again. But this, according to George Bartwell, is like you don't want to cover the camera inside, like on the sensor or whatever. So you just want to cover the board. Yep. This is super stick to the surface. I'm going to hope it does what it's supposed to do because I am afraid of... St oh, okay. okay, okay. It, it came out. It came out. This part is scary. I almost want to turn on my camera, my drone and see if the camera is still working. I don't know if probably one of those capacitors got ripped off by this tape. But what I'm gonna do real quick, now that I'm holding it, is that I'm gonna apply the conformal coating on it and I'm just gonna pray that it doesn't break anything here. So now we're covering this part right here. I'm gonna cover every other circuit we have. Oh crap. I think there's only one thing missing from all of this. Okay, so we coated the board, we coated motor PCB, and we also covered the camera PCB. I guess the last thing that's missing would be first letting it dry. It supposedly dries in 15 minutes. I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to come back and I'm going to just do the UV light test and see if it filled all the other holes or in, in the whole PCB. And if not, I'm going to apply it a little bit more, but I hope I did got everything uh, in, the, in the board. So I'll see you in probably 15 minutes. Okay, so a little bit more of 15 minutes has passed. And here on this tip, if I touch it, it's hard. I don't know if you can see, it's hard. So I'm guessing this thing on the drone, which is much more thinner, it's already dry. And apparently I got everything. Let's see it on the other side. Yeah, I think I got everything. So now what we're going to do is do the UV test bench. Okay, so we have the drone here and it's a pretty thick layer of this. Oh, there's, I also got some here. I think, it, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I'm going to turn on the lights now. <laughs> Let there be light. Okay, so let's get the frame now. Just so you know, the arrow right here is what points you to the front. These are right here. So this one points to the front on that side. So this arrow should be pointing to that side. Okay, so let's build this back up. Okay, so now let's test it. Please work, please work, please work. Okay, and do we have signal? We do have signal, that's nice. As you can see, you can see me on the drone right now. So I'm gonna put the goggles right there. And it's working. Okay, now the real question is, will it work under the rain? But for that, we're gonna have to wait till it rains, which is probably tomorrow morning. As expected, 
It didn't rain like for a week after waterproofing, but then it finally started. And oh boy, was I happy. So I'm gonna try to fly this on the rain. It's raining pretty hard, so I'm scared. Um, but there's only one way to find out if it's good. So, let's do it. And three, two, one, let's go. Oh, we're flying in the rain. I'm just gonna be doing just something going up. Oh my God. Okay. Let's go here. Woo. <laughs> Who would have thought I could freestyle in the rain, man? And now, I'm going back. Woo! Okay, it's time to get back. Let's land on the sofa. Success! And there you have it, guys. As promised, I tested on the rain. If you like it, just leave a comment, subscribe. I'm pretty sick right now. <laughs> That's why my voice changed. But, see ya!